October 21st, 2025, Washington, D.C. A former Navy SEAL and a SpaceX rocket engineer stand in front of something that shouldn't exist. A fighter jet designed to launch straight up like a missile, fly combat missions completely alone, and land tail first on a trailer. No runway, no pilot, no precedent. What they revealed that day wasn't just another drone concept. Shield AI's XBAT represents the collision of three revolutionary technologies that have never been combined before. Vertical takeoff capability that eliminates the need for runways entirely. An artificial intelligence brain that's already proven itself in Ukrainian combat zones. And supersonic performance that matches traditional fighters. Here's what makes this terrifying for America's adversaries. In any future Pacific conflict, China's first move will be launching thousands of missiles at U.S. airfields. Their DF-21 and DF-26 ballistic missiles can crater runways from over 1,500 miles away. Russia demonstrated this exact doctrine in Ukraine, repeatedly hammering air bases to ground the Ukrainian Air Force. Every military strategist knows that air power wins wars, but what happens when you have no runways left? Shield AI's answer changes everything. Imagine F-35 capability launching from a parking lot. Picture squadrons of autonomous fighters operating from cargo ships, remote islands, or forest clearings. At $27 million per unit, roughly a third the cost of an F-35A, this isn't just about technology. It's about fundamentally rewriting the rules of air warfare, and the Pentagon is paying very close attention. The mystery begins with an engineering impossibility. Traditional vertical takeoff fighters like the F-35B require incredibly complex lift fan systems that add weight, reduce range, and cost billions to develop. The V-22 Osprey needs massive tilt rotors that create maintenance nightmares. Russia's Yak-141 program failed so spectacularly that they sold the technology to Lockheed Martin. So how does a startup with 1,000 employees solve what aerospace giants couldn't? The answer involves a 32-year-old engineer named Armour Harris, who learned something crucial while landing SpaceX rockets. Before joining SHIELD AI in March 2024, Harris was the responsible engineer for Falcon 9's propulsive landing capability, the breakthrough that made SpaceX's reusable rockets possible. He helped deliver Starlink to Ukraine during the 2022 invasion, witnessing firsthand how satellite communications and autonomous systems perform under the most intense electronic warfare on Earth. But here's where it gets interesting. SHIELD AI didn't just hire Harris for his rocket expertise. They needed someone who understood a forgotten Pentagon program from the 1990s, the F-15 Active. This classified project developed something called an Axis Emetric Vectoring Exhaust Nozzle, or AVEN, that could redirect jet thrust in any direction. The technology worked perfectly, demonstrating thrust vectoring at Mach 1.95. Then it disappeared into Air Force archives, until now. The second mystery centers on SHIELD AI's hive mind, an AI pilot that's been quietly operating in Ukraine since June 2024. While other American drones failed against Russian jamming, VBAT reconnaissance aircraft powered by Hivemind completed over 130 combat missions. In one operation on August 24, 2024, a VBAT penetrated 100 kilometers behind Russian lines, located an SA-11 Buck air defense system while being hit by multiple jammers, and guided a HIMARS strike that destroyed it. How does an AI fly through electronic warfare that grounds everything else? Why did SHIELD AI's smaller drones succeed where General Atomics and Lockheed Martin systems failed? And most importantly, what happens when you scale this combat-proven AI from a 125-pound reconnaissance drone to a supersonic fighter jet? To understand why XBAT matters, we need to revisit the most important lesson from World War II that everyone seems to have forgotten. When Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, they didn't target the aircraft carriers. They were at sea. They targeted battleships. Why? Because in 1941, most admirals still believed battleships won wars. Two years later, not a single major naval engagement involved battleship versus battleship combat. Carriers had made them obsolete overnight. We're approaching a similar inflection point with airfields. The U.S. Air Force operates from numerous overseas bases across the Pacific. China has developed an extensive arsenal of ballistic missiles specifically designed to crater runways. The math is simple and devastating. In the opening hours of any Pacific conflict, conventional air power faces paralysis. The Pentagon knows this. It's why they're desperately trying to expand to alternate airfields across the Pacific. But here's what they missed. The problem isn't finding more runways. It's needing runways at all. 
The Air Force's current Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program reveals their traditional thinking. General Atomics YFQ 42A and Andrils YFQ 44A, both subsonic, both require runways. Both cost in the same $20 to $30 million range as XBAT. They're designing better horses while Shield AI built a car. The fundamental architecture is different. CCA contestants use business jet engines for efficiency. XBAT uses an F 110 GE 129 fighter engine with afterburner, the same power plant from F 16s. That's not a design choice, it's a physics requirement. Vertical takeoff demands thrust to weight ratio greater than one. You need raw power to defeat gravity, but power alone doesn't solve the control problem. When a 26 foot fighter jet is balancing on a column of flame, traditional control surfaces don't work. There's no airflow over the wings. This killed numerous VTOL programs throughout history. Convair's XFY-1 Pogo crashed repeatedly. The Ryan X-13 Vertige never made it past prototypes. Shield AI's solution comes from that classified F-15 active program. The AVEN nozzle can vector thrust 17 degrees in any direction, providing control authority during vertical flight. But here's the clever part. The vectoring happens in the supersonic portion of the nozzle, after the throat. This prevents pressure fluctuations from backing up into the engine and causing compressor stalls. It's the same principle SpaceX uses for Falcon 9 landings, just weaponized. Let me explain exactly how XBAT achieves what others couldn't, starting with the launch sequence. Picture a standard 40-foot shipping container. Inside, a trailer holds XBAT vertical, nose pointing skyward like a surface-to-air missile. Pre-flight takes 20 minutes, two maintainers, no special equipment. The GEF-110 engine starts normally, builds to military power, then engages afterburner. 30,000 pounds of thrust erupts from the AVEN nozzle. But wait, it gets better. Unlike the F-35B's complex lift fan that permanently steals internal weapon space, XBAT is a pure tail sitter. The engine thrust vector control provides all pitch and yaw authority during vertical flight. As it climbs, onboard accelerometers feed data to the HiveMind AI which makes micro-corrections 1,000 times per second, far faster than human reflexes. At 500 feet, XBAT begins its transition maneuver, gradually tilting from vertical to horizontal flight. The AVEN nozzle continuously adjusts, maintaining controlled flight through what pilots call the coffin corner, that deadly zone where you're too slow for aerodynamic control, but too tilted for pure thrust control. Here's where the combat capability gets genuinely terrifying. XBAT carries weapons both internally and externally. The internal bay maintains stealth for first day of war operations. External hardpoints allow beast mode with AIM-120 AMRAMs and even the Navy's new AIM-174B, a missile with extreme range. That's right, this autonomous fighter can engage targets beyond the horizon without ever exposing itself to enemy radar. But the real revolution is Hivemind's autonomy. This isn't remote control. It's true artificial intelligence making tactical decisions. In Ukraine, Hivemind demonstrated something unprecedented. During a November 2024 Black Sea mission, a VBAT encountered both Ukrainian and Russian jamming simultaneously. GPS, gone. Communications, severed. Command links, dead. Any other drone would have crashed or returned to base. The VBAT completed its reconnaissance mission, detected two Russian MiG-31s armed with Kinjal hypersonic missiles, and flew home with the intelligence. The operators didn't fly the drone. They gave it an objective, and it figured out the rest. Now scale that to XBAT. Hivemind coordinates multiple aircraft simultaneously, what Shield AI calls swarm intelligence. One human commander can control a dozen XBATs, each making independent tactical decisions while maintaining strategic coordination. They share sensor data, coordinate attacks, and adapt to threats in real time. If one gets shot down, the others automatically adjust their missions. No pilots to train, no G-force limitations, no human fear or fatigue. Wait, it gets worse for our adversaries. Because XBAT launches vertically, three of them fit in the deck space of one F-35. An America-class amphibious assault ship could theoretically carry 60 XBATs versus 20 F-35Bs. That's triple the sortie rate with autonomous operations enabling 24-7 missions. The maintenance footprint shrinks dramatically. No ejection seats, no life support, no cockpit displays, just engines, weapons, and artificial intelligence. The GE Aerospace Partnership announced November 5, 2025, guarantees engine availability. 
They're not developing new technology. They're using proven F-110 GE-129 engines with existing supply chains. The AVEN thrust vectoring comes straight from 1990s test programs. Even the airframe uses conventional materials and manufacturing. This isn't bleeding-edge research. It's mature technology assembled in a revolutionary way. Shield AI built their first flying demonstrator in 18 months. Boeing needed 12 years for the F-15EX upgrade. The strategic implications hit like a sledgehammer. China's entire A to AD strategy, anti-access area denial, assumes American fighters need runways. They've spent decades developing the DF-21D carrier killer and hypersonic glide vehicles to destroy our bases. Their military doctrine emphasizes system destruction warfare, crippling the nodes that enable American air power. XBAT doesn't just sidestep the strategy, it demolishes it. Consider Taiwan. Current war games show China establishing air superiority within 72 hours by cratering every runway on the island. F-16s become expensive paperweights, but deploy 200 expats hidden in warehouses, parking garages, and shipping containers? Suddenly, China faces distributed air power that can't be eliminated with ballistic missiles. Every cargo ship becomes a potential carrier. Every small island transforms into an airbase. The economics shift everything. At $27 million per unit, the Pentagon could buy three expats for the price of one F-35A. More importantly, operating costs plummet. No pilot training, millions per aviator, no survival equipment, no personnel recovery missions. Shield AI estimates operating costs at one-tenth of manned fighters. The Air Force wanted 1,000 CCAs. At XBAT prices, they could afford 3,000 and fundamentally change the correlation of forces in the Pacific. But here's what keeps Chinese military planners awake. Proliferation. Traditional fighters require massive infrastructure, decades of pilot training, and complex logistics. XBAT needs a trailer and a laptop. Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force already ordered VBATs. Taiwan, South Korea, the Philippines, they're all watching. Suddenly, every American ally could field hundreds of autonomous fighters without building a single runway. The defensive advantage shifts dramatically. The Navy's interest runs deeper. Project Vanquish, announced October 2025, seeks vertical takeoff drones for carrier operations. But why stop there? Every destroyer, cruiser, and logistics ship becomes a potential XBAT platform. Distributed lethality reaches its logical conclusion. Offensive air power from any vessel with deck space. China's carrier killer missiles become less relevant when America has hundreds of distributed launch points. Meanwhile, Russia's struggling in Ukraine against basic commercial drones. Imagine their Soviet-era air defenses facing swarms of stealthy, supersonic X-BATs with combat-proven AI. Their electronic warfare advantages evaporate. Their numerical superiority becomes meaningless against autonomous systems that never tire, never miss, and never stop coming. Shield AI's development timeline stuns traditional contractors. First vertical flight, fall 2026. Full mission capability, 2028. That's four years from concept to combat, while Lockheed needs 15 years for the F-35 Block 4 upgrade. The company's already in production discussions, with partnerships to be announced within weeks. Their JSW defense deal brings $90 million for VBAT technology transfer and manufacturing in India, creating global production capacity for their drone portfolio. The next evolution terrifies and excites equally. Shield AI is testing something called VBAT teams. Swarm coordination, where one operator controls dozens of aircraft covering 30,000 square miles. Apply that to XBAT squadrons. Imagine 50 autonomous fighters executing coordinated strikes across theater-wide operations, adapting in real time to enemy responses, sharing targeting data at light speed. Human pilots become battle managers, not stick and rudder operators. The technology exists today. Hivemind runs on commercial processors, the engines come from existing F-16 production. Even the thrust vectoring used 30-year-old proven designs. This isn't science fiction waiting for breakthrough discoveries. It's engineering integration happening now. As Brandon Sang said at the unveiling, air power without runways is the holy grail of deterrence. Yet questions remain. How does autonomous warfare change escalation dynamics? When AI makes kill decisions in milliseconds, do humans retain meaningful control? The ethical frameworks lag behind the technology. But one thing's certain, the age of runway-dependent air power is ending. Just as carriers replace battleships, 
distributed autonomous systems will replace traditional air forces. XBAT isn't just another drone program. It's the B-29 moment for autonomous warfare, the technology that changes everything after. When military historians look back, they'll mark October 21, 2025, as the day air superiority stopped depending on concrete runways and started depending on artificial intelligence, the future of air power doesn't need pilots or runways. It just needs a parking spot and a laptop. And that changes absolutely everything. Welcome to the age of distributed autonomous air power. The revolution isn't coming. It's already flying.